everyone, so today I'm going to do a new in at the drugstore video. I've done these before, you know the drill, it's five products that I've picked up from Boots and Superdrug this time because Boots didn't have everything that I wanted. And then I throw them on my face and give you like a little review as I go and today I've got foundation, a contour kit, a very cool eyeshadow palette and nail polish and also some new lip glosses as well. So let's get started with the foundation. Now I picked this up in Superdrug I think it was and it was as part of their like new stands that they have like at the end of the aisle. It was from Max Factor and it's the Miracle Match Foundation Blur and Nourish. And I sort of gave this a go on the back of my hand. I actually tried it yesterday when I got back all over and I'm really impressed with it. The longevity is really nice. I've got it in the shade Light Ivory 40 and I'm just going to take it on my Louise Young LY34 Super Foundation Brush. And I'm going to take one pump all over the face. Now it has a bit of a strange scent to it. I can't quite pin down what it is. Like biscuity paint. But once you get past that, the finish is really pretty on the face. I think they call it a demi-matte finish, or at least that's what it said on like all the signs around it. So you're gonna get a very natural look on the face. It's a medium finish, so really good for just like every day going to work, going to school. And then the finish that's left on the skin just looks like skin. I've switched to my beauty blender because I'm obsessed with it these days, but the finish of this foundation is just one of those like no makeup foundations where you can't feel it on your face and it definitely doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. So overall, thumbs up from me. So I've just concealed and it's time to add a bit of dimension back into things because it's looking a bit flat. And I found this, it's from Collection. I always want to say Collection 2000 and it's their contour kit highlight and sculpt and I have a feeling this just comes in the one shade for now perhaps it'll be something they expand on in the future there's a little mirror in the top which is kind of pointless you can't really get much of your face in there and then there are two different colors in here you've got your kind of bronzy golden shade I wouldn't say it's particularly contoury on my skin tone anyway this is going to look a bit more like a bronzer but it's definitely not orangey so you can get away with adding it kind of in between where you put bronzer and contour and it'll do a bit of both for you and then the highlight shade looks very pretty and like finely milled for once you find in a lot of these drugstore palettes that the highlight shade like in the sleek one the highlight shade is like whoa a glitter bomb but that's very subtle I like that a lot so I'm just going to put a bit of the contour slash bronzery shade on a powder brush and kind of apply it on my cheeks to get a little bit of definition going on yeah, not too orangey, I like that. Also quite sheer, which is quite nice, I find, for these kinds of products, because you don't want to go too overboard. It makes it very easy to apply. And then on a smaller brush, I'm going to take some of that highlight shade, dust off the excess, and just apply that over the high points of the cheek. I like this. I've got a feeling it was just a couple of quid. It was very, very inexpensive. I think it was cheaper than the sleek one. Oh god, I'm just putting the highlight all over my face now. But if you fancy a bit of a bargain contour palette and have like a light to medium skin tone, then I would highly recommend this one. Off camera, I just popped on some brows and blush, and now for eyes, and I spotted this. I'm not sure how new it is, but it had a little new sticker next to it, and I hadn't seen it before. It's from Barry M, and it is their Eye Shine Shadow and Glaze Palette. Now inside, it looks a little something like this. Now the palette isn't, whoa, brushes falling out everywhere. The brushes aren't great as always with this sponge tip applicators. And I wouldn't say that the packaging is particularly sturdy, though you do get a nice mirror in there. And the colors like these three, I'm probably not gonna get the most use out of. Though I do like a bit of blue and green like under the eyes in the summertime. I got it for these three shades here. I just thought that was beautiful and basically autumn in a palette right there. There's this little like eye gloss at the end that you can put over the top to make things look a little bit glossy. Now I personally wouldn't use that, probably for like editorial or like photo shoots, that could come in really handy. But for me, that just makes everything a bit of like a gloopy mess on the eye and creasy and feels funny. Oh, it makes my eyelids feel funny just thinking about it. But these three colors, massively into. So I think today I'm gonna do a mix of the bronze and the red, like do something a little bit autumn-y. And I'm just gonna take the bronzy one all over the lid with a MAC 242 brush. And actually that's gone on really well. There isn't much fallout and it is very, very, very pigmented. It's a nice, warm, golden-y, kind of coppery color. Blend, blend, blend. And actually, that's a really wicked color. It's almost like a duochrome, a bit like MAC Woodwinked in that in some lights it can look 
orange and then in others it looks yellow. And I'm going to pop a tiny amount of the ready shade in the crease, kind of in the outer corner. I think I'm going to pop a bit of the bronze under the eye as well. I was going to grab a brush to get rid of any fallout, but there really isn't any going on. So very chuffed with this palette. Yeah, there's three shades out of six. I'm probably not going to get a lot of use out of, but the three colours that I do like are very easy to use, a really good formula, also very like pigmented and easy to blend. I always think that like ready toned eye looks look a bit crazy before you put mascara on, but after mascara is all Okay, so now onto lips. And I saw these in my local Superdrug. They are from Tanya Bear Cosmetics. She's reformulated her line, repackaged it all. There's some new colours in there, some old colours. I've got a feeling that this is one of the old colours. It's the Lip Gloss in Lunch Date. And I'm just going to put that all over. I really like these. They smell of like watermelon. They're very opaque, but still glossy at the same time. I just like it dabbed in. And this shade really reminds me of MAC Patisserie, but in gloss form. So always up for a bit of MAC patisserie. Really good job with that tying it, very impressed. Then the final thing that I picked up was a nail polish. Now they didn't have these in Boots, but they did have it in Superdrug, and I hadn't seen this before. It's a range of Essie, and I think it's called Cashmere Matte, is like the effect, and they've got six colors with this Cashmere Matte effect going on. I saw cashmere and was instantly like, oh, I need to give that a try. Even though matte nails aren't really my thing, I gave them a go when it first came around a few years ago and I was like, oh, I think I prefer a bit of shine on my nails. So I went for this one, it's called Cozy in Cashmere. Yes, I must admit that the name completely got me in. It's like a kind of taupey lilac, like the sort of nude colours that I like to wear, but with a bit of a lilac-y, bluey iridescence to it. And on the nail, I do think that really comes across. It kind of takes the edge off of the mat. I've got it on today. This way, this way, this way. Oh, sweat patches. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I feel like I might like it with a top coat over the top, but that sort of defeats the whole point. The whole point is that it's this kind of iridescent matte texture, and I'm just not sure if I can really get into it. Matte textures, I'm not that keen on on their own. Iridescent textures, I'm also not keen on those either. So the two of them mixed together, I wasn't sure if like two dislikes would make a like but I'm just not sure about it. I normally love Essie nail polishes, but I think I'm gonna pass on this one for me. But if you're into mattes, or you like trying kind of different nail effects, then it might be one to give a go. I actually really like the color. I think I'm just gonna to need to experiment with this one. It is seriously windy outside today, and I think they're forecasting 50 mile per hour winds. So before the flat, blows away. I better call this video to an end, but thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that gave you a bit of inspiration if you head into Boots or Superdrug anytime soon, and I will see you in Sunday's video, which is going to be a little tour of my new makeup storage. So I will see you then at 9am GMT on Sunday. Bye!